Hi, I've put out a fair bit of Star Wars stuff lately. I hope that's okay. This will be the last, at least for a while. Super spoilers for The Last Jedi coming up, y'all. So if you don't want Star Wars spoilers, click away now. Maybe watch this video I made about time travel or something. I don't know. So just like most of The Last Jedi stuff that I put out, this one will be about why it's actually a good movie, at least in one way specifically, and, well, to me anyway. Luke Skywalker's transcendence into the Force. Go ahead and hate on me for it, as I know many of you will, but at least hear me out. Or don't. Do whatever makes you happy. If that means leaving a horrible comment on my video like this guy did, then just do that, I guess. I can take it. But for those of you who are a little more self-contained, hear me, and hear me well, for I shall attempt to convince you that Luke's death, if you can even call it that, was awesome. So I don't really know why everyone is upset with Luke Skywalker's death. Like, did you want him to go out in this big blaze of glory or something? Maybe you did. I didn't, because that's not what the greatest of the great Jedis do. Let's actually look at some of the greatest Jedi of all time. How did they die? Obi-Wan Kenobi, a fan favorite, one of the greatest Jedi ever. Fucking Ewan McSly Dog is running around slicing dickheads in half and shit, flipping and flying about, cutting up villains and dismembering people at a whim. Sick. I love this guy. Hey, remember how people were angry that Luke may have tried to kill Kylo Ren, but then felt immediate shame and he decided not to? People said that was, like, so un-Jedi-like. Well, is it? Because when we first meet Obi-Wan, he straight up cuts the arm off some dude in a pub. Yeah, the dude was a dick, but you didn't have to dismember him. Maybe just wave your arm about a bit and tell him to go home and rethink his life. So when Luke almost killed, but actually didn't kill Kylo, why are you guys so mad? Remember, Obi-Wan completely dismembered Anakin and left him to die horribly in a pit of fire. I'm sure he felt bad about it, but not bad enough to not do it. But anyway, I digress. How did Obi-Wan the Butcher actually die? Well, he just fucking died. He's just an old man. He touched tips with Vader for a bit and then just switched his lightsaber off and got cut down and died. Well, mm, did he? You see, not really. See, everyone says they are dying, the Jedi, but that's such an antiquated and unsophisticated view of what's actually happening, I think. They are not dying, they are ascending into a higher plane of existence. But more on that in a bit. So let's say he did die. How did Obi-Wan die? He didn't go out in a blaze of glory. He turned off his saber and disappeared into the Force. The greatest Jedi, arguably, one of anyway, just turned off his lightsaber and fizzled out into thin air. Yeah, I know there was an obvious reason for this, but come on, it was hardly a blaze of glory. Yoda, arguably the greatest Jedi of all time. What did Yoda do when he died? Well, he just fucking went to bed. Yeah, he just had a little nap, then didn't wake up. Whoa, powerful stuff, dude. Just like your knobbly old grandpa dying peacefully in his sleep, not in some blaze of glory. So what did Luke Skywalker do upon his death? He just fucking disappeared as well. Why do we want him to go out in a blaze of glory? None of the other greatest Jedi went out in a blaze of glory, unless they died horribly and unexpectedly. Windu, dead. Electrocuted like a little bitch, then thrown off a ledge. Qui-Gon, dead. Stabbed in shit, then left to die on a ledge. Admittedly, it's canon now, apparently, that both these dudes become Force Ghosts after they died. Check out my Force Ghost video if you want more information on that. But still, they died a pretty pointless and meaningless death, in a way. But that's fine. That's life, baby. Shit doesn't always happen for a reason. The prequels, for all their faults, taught us this. The Jedi Council, dead. These guys shot in the back, cut down, whatever. Younglings infanticided to death. Where are all these great Jedi deaths in a sense? that everyone expects. Everyone loves Obi-Wan, everyone loves Yoda, but they both died in rather unremarkable ways. But that's good, that's the whole point. They both chose their time to go, and this is, this is my point. They chose when to transcend into something more powerful than you could ever imagine. So why are so many people upset when Luke does literally the exact same thing? Only the greatest of the great get to choose their time and place to leave this realm and transform into the most advanced, sophisticated, and powerful thing imaginable. A force ghost. But everyone was all like, Nah, bro, I heaps wanted him to lightsaber fight with Kylo and do backflips and shit, eh? Well, Yoda didn't die doing backflips. Obi-Wan didn't die doing backflips. Luke didn't die doing backflips because it would have looked stupid. It just would have looked weird, this 60-year-old man flipping about. We saw this before and it was lame as fudge. Everyone is so mad that Luke died, but he didn't die. His corporeal body may have, but then again, where is his body? Dude, force ghost? He didn't die. He evolved into something way more powerful and special than a mere human. He turned into pure energy, a godlike being, one with the universe, the ether, and the very force itself. Would you rather him be eaten by a Salek, or electrocuted, or thrown off a cliff, or shot in the back? Damn, son, no way! 
Even Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker himself, has come around to the idea of it. Some tinfoil hat people think Disney is making him say this due to threats of legal action. Mark has denied this, but whatever, draw your own conclusions. I love Mark Hamill, but regardless, it doesn't really matter what he says, it's how you the viewer feel. I for one can't think of a more fitting send-off for Luke Skywalker. And is it really the end? Of course not. He's a force ghost, bitches! This is the best thing ever. Luke's mortal journey has ended, but now he can live on as the very force itself. He has gone full circle from double sunset to double sunset. Or sunrise, I can't really remember what the last one was. We should be honored that Luke had such a powerful transition. Not many Jedi get to do that. Just like all the great Jedi before him, he chose his time and place to leave the mortal world and become one of the greats. Luke has finally matured and found enlightenment and finally found peace. Thanks for watching friends. If you liked this video, check out my other Star Wars stuff. If you didn't like this but want to leave hateful comments over something as trivial as cinema, then watch my other videos. <laughs> Peace.